Josh, your boy Ross, back at it again with another video. So we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Savage Moments from men to women. Basically, men cutting promos on women. Sometimes they get a little savage. We've probably seen some of these clips, and there may be some that we haven't seen. I haven't checked this video out yet, but this is going to be an interesting one, man. The men end up going rogue on the women in promo segments. Should be a good one. Uh, appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Road to 70K, and uh, let's do this bad boy. You okay. and Brett. Triple H didn't want to come to Philly because he knew I'd whoop his ass all over Broad Street. I'm going to stand in your ring. I'm going to beat your husband. There's nothing that you or your daddy's money can do about it. They were trying to get Roman over. It didn't work. Thanks. Now I'm the authority. Still wasn't working. The new WWE Grammy Award winning tag team of Slammy. the year. His opponent. <laughs> First. Oh my God. She is the WWE Women's Champion. <laughs> oh, she was supposed to say Divas. Would somebody like to give me a microphone that works? It's about time you did something right now. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That was unnecessary, Paul. <laughs> Reptile dysfunction. What? Your only reaction can be holy action that uh, Dolph Ziggler has every time you model some new lingerie for him. Oh. When you go in a restaurant and he shows you the menu and you say, I'll take it. <laughs> That's cold, Keys. Here's the menu. I'll take it. Take all of it. Look around. I think you'll find it. Oh, my, bro. When I was WWE so champion, Raw was the strongest brand. Now, Raw is an absolute joke. Take the women's champion. For example, Beth Phoenix. This isn't 90210. This is Monday Night Raw, and you're embarrassing yourself. And who are you supposed to be in love with? Only the weakest intercontinental champion in the history of the WWE, <laughs> Santino Morella. And any of the guys that think they have the balls to come out here and take oh. it from me. So standing in the ring, the greatest Recipe embarrassment sorry. that this business has ever seen. And that makes me absolutely sick. sick. <laughs> Even more ridiculously enhanced than your breasts are. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I would never, ever uh -oh. get a woman. <laughs> but you are not a woman. I will beat the living hell out of you this was to a different restore time wrestling. some credibility to that belt. There is nothing that... This is a different time of wrestling, for sure. Can I help you guys? Randy, give me a dollar. Oh, the disrespect. Unless you plan on getting naked and dancing for this dollar. <laughs> this is a different time in wrestling, y'all. I just want y'all to understand. A different time. I suggest you take a hike. You're not going to dance for the dollar? Damn. <laughs> the king. It's a filthy. Oh, no. Dirty. Named Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. <laughs> It's true. What? What? She is a sleazy tramp. Bro, <laughs> they were just <laughs> embarrassing wild. Stephanie. Shane and Stephanie, a bad soap opera. Whoa. Whoa. Book yourselves on the Jerry Springer show and get it over with. <laughs> or you two screw it up for good. Daddy's <laughs> back. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon is very comfortable with triple h one-on-one -on -one with the godfather <laughs> just may take a ride on the whole <laughs> that was <laughs> that was so the messed up because that's it that's his daughter but it, once again this was that time period bro Ryder, i lost the broski for a hosty Oh my God! For the biggest fish, hold off my WrestleMania opponent, The Rock. You guys are perfect for each other. You're both scandalous bitches. 
For your information, I'm disease free. I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> that was so messed up. <laughs> I think it seems like your obsession with Dean Ambrose have gotten away during your fatal four way. My obsession with Dean this Ambrose. Is a, this was a good one for me. We should talk about your obsession with Dean Ambrose. After all, you're the one sleeping with him. That was such a good and promo, Edge too. We'll never <laughs> wrestle again. Treat a woman. And I was able to do that because your husband, Edge, saved my life. How are your daughters, by the way? Thanks to me, Edge is going to be able to be their father. Edge is a joke. This was a, this was a sick, lovely segment. It just brought me back to the Randy Orton that we all love to hate. The Randy Orton that didn't care, man or woman or child, he would hit you with an RKO. Mm, 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 mm. Junkie. Edge is a junkie for the roar of the crowd. I love Edge more than you ever could. Oh my God. That was, that was so sick, bro. It's kind of like the Stanley Cup. They'll never see it in their lifetime. You just like thousands of other women, you want to walk with Elias. But I have to break it to you, Trish. I don't date women in their 60s. Pretty cool segment. Trish still look good for her age. They didn't show the burn of how she was like, yeah. <laughs> just like you'll never, ever see a WWE championship. That was a nice burn. The Rock went to visit Lana's favorite place in the city, the Meatpacking District. <laughs> Dressing like a Soviet streetwalker. But it's too bad you're walking around here like somebody shoved a smear enough bottle up your Putin. We boo you because you're both a couple of world class international a holes. I've been waiting all night for this day. Gotta love you some rock. Bro, this was such a different time. We humiliated you on the grandest stage of all. And also from listening to your speech, I have to say you're also the biggest slut of the century. <laughs> all I did was put my foot in my mouth, and that's nothing compared to what you've been putting in your mouth. Oh I my have to God. say you've been doing all the blowing around here, sister. <laughs> Easier than Paris Hilton on Viagra. Bro, the I'm disrespect. Out here and opening up. Because it seems to me that's what you do best, right? <laughs> Bottom feeding trash bag ho! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Do the Jericho Holics like that one? <laughs> and after going through everybody in the elimination chamber, there's also some folks out there that have made a choice to ride with me. Oh. You hear the slut chance. There may be a lot of people in here that think that I suck, but every damn person in here knows that you, you suck. <laughs> you also tell them that you left me with no choice. I will beat. He is. Ass. <laughs> you can bank on that, bitch. <laughs> well, I you smell what the rock mistake. is cooking. Oh, oh no. The rock's yeah, about roll. to go mega rogue in this clip. Shut oh. your damn mouth. He's Johnny, you just need to get some. This is so I fucked up, bro. Here. The rock is just a man to give it to you. If you smell what the rock is cooking, down on her knees where she belongs. Oh, my God. Oh. He's trying, it almost looks like a natural position. And enjoy the magic of the rock. Oh, she's been humiliated. No way he would ever kiss a piece of trash. <laughs> the like rock you. was so, <laughs> so rogue here. What? Wow. Hey, wait a minute. I don't know if you hear him or not, but they're calling you a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Always came up a little bit short. Oh my god! Maybe it was that the field I was playing on was just too damn big. <laughs> no! Please don't! Even a 747 looks small when you're falling oh. into the Grand Canyon. Classic, classic burn. Why don't you fight me? And the great wide open over there. <laughs> and the great wide open. <laughs> do not do anything stupid. Oh, he, the, rock, the Rock had the drip too. He had the drip with the Versace shirt too. Who took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the Western Hemisphere? 
And now the Rock's not talking about the winner of the match gets five minutes with your wife. <laughs> yes, let's watch it again. I don't think so. This is a legendary Take segment as well. Of that smelly, greasy, nasty animal. And I'm going to get you too, Rhino. <laughs> you want to say let the bodies hit the floor? I a classic say, one. Let the boobies hit the floor. I hear there's a Hooters just down the <laughs> got a man beast and, and a, a hose beast. beast. <laughs> We're dealing with the gore and the, the whore. whore. Shut up. <laughs> Man, this was, this video is just rogue. There's just nothing but rogueness in this entire video because this was a different time in wrestling, man. You can't really go around saying this type of stuff. Like, boy, the 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 people on the internet, man, would literally lose their stuff if they heard this. Feminists would lose their stuff. The hell, people that are not feminists would lose their stuff. You just can't go around saying certain things like this to women, even in an entertainment sort of way, even if it's not meant to be serious like you just can't so these promos and segments they will always be in the wwe vaults and uh we'll be able to see these clips on youtube if they're not blocked but appreciate all love and support man you guys have been showing comment down below let me know what was your favorite segment from this video man i ain't gonna lie to you my favorite segment even though it's a messed up one is the the rock and then the, the whole China situation. The Rock was mega rogue in that segment. It, it was it was my favorite only because it really made you hate The Rock. Like he was just a despicable human being for what he was doing to China at the time. Once again, rest in peace. Uh, it was just messed up. It was just so messed up. But that means he was doing his job. That means he was being a very good heel. So that that's why it's my favorite segment. Because just to see The Rock, how he was when he was a heel, was truly fantastic. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.